is one of the stars of the BYU women's basketball team, Kalani Purcell. Kalani, almost misses triple-double. I think that's what we need to start calling you, <laughs> yeah. okay? You averaged 10 points, 10 rebounds, 7.5 assists last week. You were the West Coast Conference Player of the Week. You needed two rebounds to get the first ever triple double at BYU for the women's program. How aware are you of that situation in the moment? Uh, usually, like in other games, I haven't really. Or like Dan or Ray will just be like, "You only need like three more assists or something." <laughs> oh, but in nice. that game, I don't know. For some reason, I could just hear like either my name or my number being called out. I was like, "You just need two. So I was like, <laughs> two rebounds." Okay, where are the boards? Where is it? <laughs> so, so so you get pulled out with like three minutes to go, needing two rebounds. Rebounds are the easy ones, right? Assists are harder than rebounds? Yeah. Yeah, okay. So with that in mind, you get pulled with three minutes. Why did you get pulled with three minutes to go? <laughs> um, A coach's decision? Uh, yeah. Yeah, okay. I'll put you in an awkward Guess spot there. Yeah. All right, let's simulate <laughs> that situation. I'll be Juddy. Anytime Jerem can impersonate Juddy, it's <laughs> a good thing. <laughs> you be... Kalani Myself? Purcell. Yeah, you be yourself, okay? So there's three minutes to go. Who came in for you? Um, I don't think I can't remember. Horton, hey, <laughs> let's go. Get in there. Okay, she's coming in. You're coming out. What, what's the conversation like with um, I was trying not to look at the bench first before she subbed me in. Oh, so yeah, I, nice. was like, I was like, just don't look, and then I won't get subbed out. You're like, for, no, no, not to me, <laughs> no, for her, Yeah, right? over yeah, there. Yeah. Hey, Purcell, let's get in there. Hey. Then what? Just thanks, thanks. Judd, what the heck? I only need two more. I know, but we, you are right there. <laughs> Kathy, Kathy, run the office. <laughs> That's how it went, right? Something like that? Something like that. Cassie brought him. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, yeah. For the record, we love Jeff you're, Judd. <laughs> and you're a good teammate because, because in that moment, I'd be like, hey, two rebounds. Like, can I stand? I'll just grab him real quick. Triple double. It'd be awesome. <laughs> you're, awesome. you're a good you're a good it's player. going to happen selfishly when it happens i hope that i am calling the game kalani how about this don't do it on a road game just do it on a home game okay. <laughs> just super right. simple you have a chance to get it and you're like nope <laughs> I promise it would be on a home game <laughs> what's the best part about playing for your head coach jeff judkins um i don't know there are a lot of good things about playing for him he has like a lot of nice Oh, not nice. Like, I don't know how to explain it. It's okay. Like, good things to do after you play. Like, not just while you're playing. Okay. What do you mean? Like. We're talking about sayings. We're talking about like, activities. Like, after a game? No, like. Post-career? Teaching-wise, yeah. Oh, teaching. Okay. Uh, like, he's okay. good at, like, teaching us things to do after. Yeah. So, um, you play a game. You, you win by game. 18 Saturday. Yet. You're saying you learn things. You mm. can do better even in that kind of win? Yeah. So what what kind of things uh, did he discuss with you after a nice win Saturday? Um, well, actually, that one was a pretty good one. He just said that it was a way to win, you know, two in a row instead of just winning one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's great. Six and two, tied for first place. Um, I noticed something uh, between you and your boyfriend, Butch Pau, when I was coming off the floor last week, and he's like, hey, why don't you get a triple-double? Like, you need to pick up your game, stuff like that. <laughs> what, what, is, what do those situations do for you <laughs> in, in motivating you? Um, I know he's kind of joking. <laughs> like, he's joking at the time, yeah. but he's really like, no, seriously, why didn't you get the two rebounds? Yeah. So it's kind of like it's motivating for me to be like, you know, you're right. Like instead of just being happy with the game, yeah, I'm. Uh, he kind of is like encouraging me that I need to be doing better, yeah. which is nice, I guess. He also looked at me and said, "Look, I got to keep her grounded. Right? <laughs> I got to keep her humble. <laughs> I got to do those things." Humility is overrated. Do you, do, you get, <laughs> do you get to critique his football performance? Yeah. yeah. Um. I try not to. He has <laughs> enough people doing that. So I try and encourage him saying that he did good rather than he needs to do better. But sometimes I'm yeah. like, dude, what the heck? Dude, what the heck? Make the tackle, bitch. <laughs> do you think that people, more people on campus know you by facial recognition than him? Because because he packs it. He went around the uh, Cougar Eat yeah, and I did saw that, that video, video yeah. for Between the Lines, and that was really funny. Um, so do you think you could, like, if you walked around, you're like, hey, I'm on the women's basketball team? Probably not. No. People you probably don't, don't know so? who I am. Come on, they watch me. You're like, I they probably know. just know me from the poster that like is posted with uh, Eric Mika. 
that's a pretty good spot like, for Eric to be in, <laughs> like, right? Yeah. yeah. Exactly. Ooh. Kalani Purcell of BYU Women's Basketball with us in Studio B. Let's talk about your teammate, Cassie, don't call me Kathy Broadhead, <laughs> who per norm is averaging 20 points a game. She has, like, stepped into this role and has become a fiery leader on this team. What do you think about her play recently as the point guard? Um, she's, she's amazing. Like, it, I actually sometimes when she does things, I'm just, like, amazed and just – just want to stare at her doing it. And she like, she's a really good leader, which I think is something that helps bring her uh, game up like 10 notches. So, but it's nice because last year, I think we talked a lot of, um, about her playing time because she was kind of like, she was a little bit upset, but she knew her role in the team. And I told her last year that don't worry because next year will be your year. And sure enough, it is. There were 19 shots made available by the graduation of Lexi right on. So <laughs> it, that's a lot of shots. To go. <laughs> it's a lot of shots, right? Yeah. Hey, when you're a top five scorer in the NCAA, you got to you gotta put up some shots. Like when I don't show up on Tuesday night at my church, there's like 28 shots. Yeah, everybody else has a available. better time playing basketball. <laughs> yeah, yeah it's, it's fun for them, I guess. Um, the, you, you shot a, at the beginning of the year. You missed your first 10 threes, which is weird. But you've made five of your last seven. And you, you've been raising that percentage. What kind of changed from uh, distance for you? I think just shooting with the coaches. Because before I didn't really. I was just shooting them just for fun. I mean, not for fun. In obviously. the games? Yeah. Not obviously for fun. I'll but just throw <laughs> it up and see what happens. <laughs> yeah, I'll shoot this one left hand. <laughs> Whatever. But I think from shooting with the coaches or with Dan and Ray every morning or whenever we can has really helped my confidence, which is a lot of shooting there's just a lot of confidence does the annex help where maybe you can get up more shots than you would just in the Marriott Center yeah I think especially on game days because everyone obviously goes to shoot on the Marriott court because it's where we play but because there's so many people me and Dan usually go up to the annex and just put up some shots before the game so then I'm not like waiting five minutes to get a ball and then my ball gets hit out and then I still wait another five minutes so it's been helpful when one of your coaches or your teammates gets a technical foul, and I'm going back to Saturday with Cassie Broad. She comes over. She gets tripped. She's frustrated. Uh, she gets banged up a little bit, and she slams, she slams the scorer's table, and then the technical foul comes. What does that do for your team? Does that, does that fire you up? Or, yeah. I mean, how, what, what emotion does that bring? I think <laughs> – that was funny. <laughs> <laughs> you Were you up big so it didn't matter? or? Uh, I think – no, we weren't. I don't think – well, we're up at maybe like eight or ten. Yeah, now here's okay. the funny thing. You went on a – your team went on a crazy run after that technical well, foul. Yeah, because well, well. I think just moments like that where, like, you, we know it's it's a frustrating call and we can't really do anything about it. So it's kind of like – this is like now that she's got a tick, like we can't, you know, really do anything bad because we'll get in more foul trouble or something. Um, so it's kind of – a moment that we all realized that we need to be doing things like perfectly, like playing defense uh, perfectly and like executing offensively, which I think is what we did, which is why we went on a big run. More technicals, more BYU runs. This is what we're, <laughs> yeah. this is what we're learning here. Get fired up. Okay, whether it's Dan yeah. Nielsen and Melinda <laughs> and Dan taking a technical on behalf of uh, Melinda. Melinda. Yeah. 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 Like. Hey, it happens, you know. <laughs> you take a lot of teas for me on this show, so I appreciate that. You're welcome. Take one for the team, right? Uh, Kalani, great to have you with us. Let's give you some BYU Sports Nation karma. Some triple double some karma. Triple double some karma. Flavored karma. Yeah, I need some of that. Who knows when it will manifest? You ever do the double double? I'm getting bored with the double double. I need a triple double. Let's take it up enough. <laughs> We're so spoiled. Right? Come on, give me something ten else. Ten and ten is not sufficient. We also need you to sign our uh, stretch white flag, if that's okay. Yeah. So uh, before you leave the studio. Give us your signature if you don't mind. Thanks. Thanks, Kalani.